Hebe soft gammon is a porcelain doll type of a woman. And I would like to remind those who came to this channel searching for information about types. According to David Kibbe's theory, that my typing is based on the works of David and his book Metamorphosis, but may and will definitely differ from the original interpretation and the very source. This is because I have practiced all the information in my work with my clients, so it is based on my practical statistic experience and knowledge as a professional artist, my view and feel of the person and my perception of external and internal factors, such as the entire essence of the personality. I also ask you to include your common senses, both to this and any other information given to you. So here I go, I'm going to take Kibi's original 13 types and discuss them as I see them. The type is located in the center next to the pure gammon type with the yin-yang scale shifting towards the yin, the divine female, like the entire gammon family, yin, the divine female and yang, the divine male, are electrically combined. For example, there may be large round eyes and a pointed chin, soft and sharp combined together, leaning towards the female, doll kind of an image and also additional yin appears in the rounded, soft body shape. Kibi called this type explosive chick, just because everything just collides unpredictably in the beautiful coalition. The soft gammon type can be described primarily as a romantic gammon. A woman of this type is gammon, and the romantic trend is an additional description, not the main factor. A stormy set of female and male elements affects the general countenance with a partial advantage of female side. Height diminutive from the smallest up to 170 cm. Soft gammon is one of the most petite types in, this, in the Kiwi system. Bone structure is generally delicate, but some broad bone may appear, so the shoulders can be vast and angular. The palms and feet are small but broad and robust while remaining small. Extremities, legs and arms are often short. Charcoal lines may appear on the face, the chin nose, cheekbones may be pointy, but at the same time the general impression of a doll-like cuteness of the face is preserved. The eyes are often large and rounded, the cheeks are round and soft, the lips are medium to full. The structure of the body is soft with curves, the chest and hips could be pronounced and the waist is naturally emphasized, often curvy arms at the top and thighs. As you gain weight, soft gammon becomes very round, the extra pounds appear in the chest and the upper arm and legs. The waist is preserved, although it becomes less pronounced. Figure shape features and wardrobe for soft gammon type. Women of short stature predominate in soft gammon type, although the established limit is up to 170 cm and if higher height is also associated with excess weight, it is difficult to talk about a petite woman here. The cosmetic features remain the same, but the size uh, could be completely different. Soft gammon will look very different with a height of 155 cm and a weight of 50 kg than with a height of 170 and 70 kg. This will naturally do a slightly different choice of clothing and accessories. However, regardless of height or weight, the characteristics of soft gammon remain similar and the main key to deciphering the types is the cute faces of girls, regardless of their age. This is a strong effect of yin element, which is female. The structure of bones in the soft gammon type is very similar to that of pure gammon, drawn to rectangular body shape, and the bones are small and slightly angular. However, the facial bones often give it the shape of the heart. 
that looks slightly wider. Another characteristic of soft looks and common feature is rather elongated but not bulging chin, I'd say pointy, as in the case with Reese Witherspoon. Physiognomic differences between pure gammon and soft gammon are mainly related to the structure of the bodies and the feminine element of yin underlines its activity at most. Soft gammon has soft, rounded lines, influencing thinner features and more feminine shapes. The pure type gammon girl has a more boyish figure and slightly sharper features. Her body is not as strongly marked with the yin element as in the case of soft gammon, for example, Michelle Williams. She looks more androgynous and if you dress her in more feminine clothes, she appears to be odd looking. She owns this male influence in her that also requires a more male type of clothing, that she, that she looks uh, normal. Therefore, the principal affiliation determines that not all attributes assigned to a given tradition are applicable. The more the appearance is marked with the yin element, the more it should be emphasized by the wardrobe. If the yang element is dominant, in that case stylization should also go in an androgenic direction. Using the yin-yang measure facilitates this definition of individual types, clarifies concepts and affects the form. The style of soft gammon was named Spitfire Chick by David Gibby. The term is rather mysterious and probably only the author himself understands its meaning. Frenzy and strong expression can complement and the pinch of zest that gives the, the styling a bit of crazy character uh, can be an interesting addition to them. The point is that yin element is more girly, flirty than strictly feminine or romantic. A girl whose beauty plays an important role in the yin element is very easy to pick up a bad wardrobe. We all know that poorly chosen clothes worsen or age the look regardless of the type. Figure features of soft gammon height from very low to 170 centimeters relatively short vertical lines soft gammon woman doesn't seem to be taller than she actually is body type a slightly outlined hourglass or a pear type as well shoulders straight somewhat angular arms and legs short or proportional to the body palms and feet small might be wide in size bust medium to larger waist emphasized thighs rounded wider than pure gammon forearms fairly relatively short soft gammon face characteristics the lower part of the face is sometimes slightly sharper pointy i say nose medium or small might be a little wider in size cheek bones are wide Eyes large, round or medium in size, lips full or just slightly full, cheeks rounded often very full, resembling two halves of an apple. Style recommendations for soft gammon body type. Kibi recommends precise, compact forms, lively and fun images that look holistic and thoughtful. The silhouette should be well-defined and accentuated at the waist. It is important to think over a holistic image. A combination of opposites is possible but without overloading, for example, only the contrast of color or textures or patterns. Fabrics should be light to medium so they hold their shape but drape slightly as they move. A made finish is details should always be bright and unusual. It is important to pay attention to the finishing of things. The details near the face should be small and well cut. Round or rounded shapes are the best choice. The waist should always be accentuated. The folds from the waist should be small and tight, keeping the shape. A contrasty hem is perfect. Choose bright and rich colors, intense shades in contrasting combinations. Bright and bold color schemes are for you. The print is bright with high contrast, well-defined, small to medium in size. 
jackets and blazers should be short and have a lot of detail or trim. The waist is always indicated, a peplum may be present. Jackets should fit and contrast trim will work well. The skirts could be short, well defined and trimmed. The waist is clearly defined and neat. A good option is a tulip skirt and fluffy skirts will work well as well. The optimal length is just above the knee or mid-cuff. Trousers should always be well defined and cropped trousers that reveal the ankle could also be possible and also skinny models. Don't throw your skinny jeans out just because they are not in trend as of today. Those skinny jeans suit you just perfectly well. The blouses are soft and draped, but fit tightly around the collar and the cuffs. Trace lace is possible and also blouses with an intricate cut. Knitwear. Sweaters should indicate the existing waist. Nice, tiny and tight collar. The material is soft and cozy, for example, Angora. Dresses with a clear waistline. Dresses with flounces on the skirt and the shoulders are clearly marked. The skirt is slightly tucked up at the bottom or flared options but without substantial volume. The bags are small and rounded with a neat shoulder strap. Finishing and decor may be present. Jewelry is very important in the image of a soft gammon. The shape is round, dense, irregular, bright colors, funny and cute shapes. An excellent option for jewelry is brooches and hairpins. Asymmetrical haircuts are also possible if the hair is curly. Long hair will fit well. Hair color should be expressive and bright shaded. And thank you so much for staying here with me. I hope this information was useful for you. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And see you in the next episode.